Any other questions? Um, yeah, why are you single? Hey. Oh. oh! Well, we know why now. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> Popping YouTube, it's your boy Kites here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. What's up, people? Hey, Arletta Muley dropped on a Wednesday, like she usually does. Episode 19 of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna get straight into it. Also, the QA video, we did get you guys' questions. We got them jotted down. We'll get that video done. It should be done this week. Also, more gameplay, Walking Dead, all that stuff. Please check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel. Anyway. Let's jump straight into it. Pop the Balloon, episode 19 with Arletta Muley. This time, it's the women's lineup. No. What happened? No. What happened? The dress is a no. <laughs> Already? <laughs> okay, Arlette, with the purple. Purple means royalty, or so. Sci-fi character. <laughs> yeah. In a good way though. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Okay. You guys see the lineup? Y'all know how this goes. How many matches do y'all think are gonna be in this episode? It is an hour and 17 minutes. Two is my new favorite number, so. So two, okay. Then if you go on two, that means I'm going three. All right, y'all don't forget to put it in the comments. Okay, you guys look good and you sound good, yes. So we are gonna be bringing out some single guys one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you're feeling him, you like everything, like do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything he said that's a red flag or you know, maybe it fits just not fitting, go ahead and pop your balloon and then I'll go over to a few of you, see why I ended up popping. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first Single guy. Hello, welcome in. How you doing? What's your name? Uh, I'm Scott. Scott, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a truck driver and uh, I'm living in Houston right now. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, play video games. Uh, I normally I'm work pretty much okay yeah, but other than that playing video games got it all right now what are some things you look for in a woman uh understanding uh kind uh a lady that's like a real because you know we all not perfect so hey, if you're real i'm real we can talk we can understand each other and that's it okay now what nervous. are some of your deal breakers? yeah his nerve his nerves getting to him but they they playing a real safe uh, this first round. Yeah, they Because I, I know half of them wanted to pop over that video game comment. Yeah, because you can see all their face expressions. But yeah. it's, hey, man, it's 19 episodes. People going, they going to play how they think the last episode went. So Breakers. Uh, not real. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to say. You're not really giving no good yeah, answers, though. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're a simple guy. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All mm. right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Let's I go heard. on over there, see uh, why they ended up popping. Right. Let's start right over here. We can have your name and age. My name is Shayna, and I'm 30. Uh, nice and Shayna, what do you do? I'm an ultrasound tech, and I um, act on the side, too. 
Oh okay. God. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? So you seem like a very, very nice guy. Yeah. Um, I had to pop because you're a truck driver, you're on the road a lot, and the video games, I'm not sure how much you're into that. Yeah. Um, but you're very handsome, good looking, you seem very, very nice, so good luck. Uh, thank you, thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right, now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. I love the curly hair, the natural. Thank you. you, thank know? you. Yeah. Pretty teeth. Oh, pretty, thank you. Pretty teeth, yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go on down here. Okay. You can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason why... Oh. Oh. Misha, what do you do? <laughs> so right now um, I actually uh, manage a family business that's been operating for about 25 years. So. Hey, shout, hey, shout out to family business. Hey, man. That's the best way to grow. If you ain't going to grow with some corporation that's going to treat you like trash... Build the family up, because at the end of the day, everybody get to eat. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? So the reason why I popped um, was because right now I'm looking for somebody who can, you know, be there a little bit more. Um, the truck driving, you're on the road a lot, so that's that's the reason. No, but don't. very good looking, and I hope you find somebody. Well, she wants somebody to help her with her family right. business. No, same thing. Is she someone that's your type? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go with him. What makes her your type? Your family business. Go with him. You said go with him? Yeah, he your new family business. Go with him. <laughs> Go travel the world. Hey, man. You say you're going to be a truck driver. I'm going with you. Hey, that's that's I'm real, going though. I'm with you. That's real, though. I look like sitting at home. That's real. Uh, I want to say, I could just, uh, it's just I could tell, you know? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, no, she's pretty. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? My name is Miriam. I'm 34 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist. Okay. So why did you end up popping your balloon? It was just the hair for me. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong with this hair? I don't know. It just doesn't look done. Um, the hairline, you know, I just like somebody who looks clean, very, you know, put together. And I feel like you got to compliment me as well. So, yeah. Hey. They going to call her fat. They going to call her obese. They going to talk about her hair. They going to say all that. Watch. I'm telling you, bro. The internet is two-faced. A bit. Why'd you hesitate? Nah, I mean, no. Nah, what I said? No, no. I can line you up, you know? <laughs> hey. Nah, nah, she's my type. Okay. Yeah, I would talk to her. All right, thank you. Let's you go say, to our next you lady. Your name and age? Hi, I'm Zola Stone and I'm 31. Okay. And Zola, she, what do you do? A, I'm a recording artist and a traveling name. exotic. You said she got a she, she got, got a sci-fi sci name. Sci name. She remind dude. Uh, I can't remember. It's kind of like she reminds me like um that Star Wars Jedi animated okay. cartoon. Okay. Where it's like Ahsoka. Uh, yeah, like she's like she's she's black girl obviously, but she has like blue like like neon blue tats. Ahsoka. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she yeah, reminds yeah. me. Of. She reminds me of Ahsoka. Our next lady, your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone and I'm 31. Okay. And Zola, what do you do? I'm a recording artist and a traveling exotic dancer. Nope. So oh. the truck driving doesn't bother me at all. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the cross on your neck. You know, got faith right here. I saw that. Um, <laughs> you never know. You hey, never babe. know who you're going to meet. Come as you are. Hey, come as you are. Come, come as, as you are. True. He, 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 he didn't come for the clean and prepped. He came for the center. Yeah, no it's right. just you're in Houston. I'm in L.A. And I really don't want to do long distance anymore. I got you. You know, but I travel as well. But it's just, yeah, the truck driving. It's, it's going to be a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's lonely, right? Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. on here. Dance <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the back nah, of the trailer. Nah, <laughs> Dance in the back of the trailer. <laughs> what? I mean, we we do got a bad rep too. Traveling so dancer, literally. I'm, a, dance Ooh, in the I back mean, of I'm a traveling exotic dancer, so it's yeah. like I'm traveling alone too, and I have a bad rep. That's all. Not really, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm sorry. So now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, don't be mad at me. <laughs> nah. Okay. Why not? Uh, it's, yeah. it's too much. Nah, she. I'm cool with body. 
Faye's house. <laughs> house. I'm sorry. Okay. I know. I get, okay. it. <laughs> I get it. Thank you, though. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age. Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And what do you do? Oh. R&B singer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? It's the style, mm-hmm. you know. Um, it's just style, you know. Everything you do is perfect from the game to the work in. Which one? Carmen something. Oh, Carmela. Yeah, that's she look like Carmela. Yes. <laughs> so everything you do is perfect, but um, it's just the style for me. It's cool. Oh, yeah, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> now she's someone that's your type. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she got it. She got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank What's you. Happening? Let's head on back. So we do still I like have fit. Ooh, four balloons left unpopped. Yeah, it's, it's a color my grandpa standard fit. Yeah, it's a color. Okay. Some nice jeans. The cross, literally. Yeah, it's a calm fit. I'm gonna have you ask these ladies a question, help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. All right, uh, where you see yourself in two years? Two mm-hmm. years, okay. Yeah. We'll start with your name and age. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. And Jojo, what do you do? I'm a counselor and a professional dancer. Okay. So where do you see Everybody yourself in two years? Everybody just can dance. All right, shout out in to In two it. years, um, I'll definitely still be in my career. Um, Hopefully in a relationship uh, in two years and, um, you know, reaching more goals, being successful, still doing what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Your name and age? Hi, my name is Darian and I'm 26. Darian, what do you do? I'm a social media manager. Okay. Very nice. And where do you see yourself in two years? So two years, I hope to further my career. I hope to work in something maybe a little bit more corporate. Um, but also I'm letting God take the lead on that as well. Mm-hmm. And I hope to be married in two years. So, and I hope to be a homeowner as well. Hey, shout out to them goals. Great goals, aspirations. Yep. Let They're the, big ones. Let God lead. That's the thing. Hey, shout out to everybody. But hey, every decision you are going to make, pray about it, fast about it. Seek guidance about it and let God lead your decision making because he'll let your business flourish. Just let him put him at the front. Everything else will line up behind him perfectly. Okay. Okay. All right. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Um, Deja Marie, names. what do you do? Deja Marie. I'm a finance manager. Okay. And to answer this question, what, where do you see yourself in two years? Um, I would see myself continuing to grow professionally. I've been working my way through a variety of um, positions within the financial industry. Um, so I see myself continuing to grow and advance there and hopefully be in a long-term committed relationship working towards marriage. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's get one more down over here. Okay, your name and age? So I'm Tanaya, I'm 27. Tanaya, what do you do? So right now I'm pursuing my master's in marriage and family therapy. Oh, oh okay. okay. And now where do you see yourself in two years? In two years, I see myself being a licensed therapist, um, a mother, a wife, um, married. In two years? Okay. Yeah. Shout out to it. That's what she wants. Shout okay, out to let's it. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. She like it. I love so, it. I am going to hand you a pick because it is time that you're going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. So, let me give that over to you. And just go ahead and pop one of them. That wasn't me. Yep, gotta pop one. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I guess the other answers have kind of, I'm oh, sorry, the other answers, I'm kind of like, I guess in tune with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I just wanted to hear a little bit more about him. Um, so okay. I was just going to uh, listen to him talk a little bit more and see what he's about. Cool. Thank okay. you. Cool okay, let's go ahead and ask him. <laughs> you said what? Cool stuff? I said, yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff, dude. <laughs> Another question. Uh, what's one of y'all weird traits? Mm. Like some of you think that's weird about you, but, you know, you do it kind of, you know, in your little time, you know. Okay. Let's start over here. What's one of your weird traits? Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> a weird trait. Um, I guess it's kind of random, but I like to do like word search puzzles and stuff like that. Like <laughs> and stuff. That's good. It's stimulating for your brain. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's not weird. Nah, I, 
I feel like I can't I can't chime in on this one because uh, I definitely bullied bullied one of our members because uh, he does Sudoku puzzles, and uh, I've been bullied. <laughs> I've been bullying. I've been bullying our boy for a little bit about it. So. You only doing that because he in college. <laughs> My boy do Sudoku puzzles, so I gotta bully him, man. I need to learn how to do Sudoku puzzles, so I would like to learn. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah. it's not complicated. I guess it's weird, maybe. He's being bad at math. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go over here. What's a weird trait? Um, I would have to say probably watching ASMR eating videos or like ah! things like seafood boils and stuff. <laughs> the gluttony. I ah, I get it. I get it too. I had to I get, get away from them. them. But yeah, I like there gets to a point where you be watching it, and I be like sitting there like like I like the Asian guy I used to watch. He used to do the little uh. The, I think his name was like Zach Choi or something. Or like something that. Yeah, yeah. There was an Asian dude, and he he always does like this mukbangs, and it's normally like food spots in the U.S., but we don't have it out here in Cali. So that's why I was watching it because I'm like, oh yeah, other states be flexing their food, right? But I, I remember this, this is the thing that made me like stop wanting to watch people eat food, bro. Bro took a chicken like this big, like this big, put it straight in his mouth and, and just boned it, just ate it, like just ate it. And I was just like, you ain't breathe. You ain't do nothing like you just you just no. swallowed it. And at that point, I'm like. Yeah, at some point this is this is just pure gluttony. I'm like, I'm cool, bro. No, it's all pure gluttony. But yeah. at what and there's different forms of gluttony. Yeah. It ain't just eating. All that over consumerism y'all be in, indulging in buying stuff is mm-hmm. gluttony too. But what really stopped me from like the I can't I, I can't tolerate hearing people like chew and Ugh. stuff anymore. Like I or smack. I ooh, no. No. Oh, ooh, you know what? No. I know we on this a little bit too long, but we also ain't been talking because it's been a pretty tame episode. It'd be when they take like regular food that already got like super amounts of seasoning mm-hmm. and they be like drowning it in like, like a whole ranch, bunch of sauce. Cheese sauce. And then when they eat, it be getting all over their face. I be getting mad, no, bro. Plus, they need a reality. People need a reality check with them uh, little mukbang stuff. If you look up... uh. It was a YouTuber that I used to watch when he first came out. His name was Nicocado Avocado. Oh, God. If you look up what he looks like now, Boy. and that man used to be vegan. And that's why we that's why we in the gym, bro. We can't, bro be, I can't do it. We can't be big bone no more. We got to go to the gym, man. <laughs> Good. I don't know what that is, but... You look like... <laughs> it's like people eating? Yeah, people eating like seafood boils. Like, you never seen them? Nah. On, really? Nah, I never seen that. Oh. That boy got a trucker algorithm. <laughs> hey, all he see is lost lizards <laughs> and engines. Let me tell you more. how much they gonna charge you for this dumb right, load. What's What's called? Called? <laughs> this stupid dumb load. <laughs> this stupid dumb load. You gonna travel from Miami to Los Angeles, and these stupid dumb people only gonna give you five thousand dollars. You gonna spend fifteen hundred in gas, and your profits is only gonna be five hundred. So we're trying to have. Um, you know when you have a piece of gum, I yeah. split it in half because it's too much gum. So I take half of the gum and then I eat it, and I save the other half. For My later. mom does that, so that's not weird. Okay. Yeah, that's not weird. Yeah. I don't My know. Mom that's that. weird to me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, since you asked that question, I know Lee's probably wondering what's your weird trait. Uh. Well, when I'm driving, I kind of have little stories in my head and I act it out while I'm driving. Okay. Yeah, I'll be laughing at myself and all okay. that. Oh, sorry. My boy going so crazy, you laughing boy. while you're driving by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, too much on the road. It's, yeah. Okay, so well, after this round, out. I am going to go ahead and have oh, you pop drive. another Over balloon. Yeah. Okay. I don't to come down here. You going to pop her for the gum, gangster? Don't okay, my agenda popping hers. Don't ever get no respect. Uh, there's no reason I kind of go over there. Okay. To be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All good. All right. So why did you have your balloon on pop for him? Um, I mean, I heard that he lives in Houston. That's where I live. I um, so, yeah. I just wanted to hear more. Got it. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Mm. All right. Why did we end up popping? The... Um, the answer you just gave just reminded me more of the like truck driving, which was the thing for me. But I was trying to hold on because you seem really nice and you look nice. Um, but yeah, it just I'm like, okay, don't just go with your first mind. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So is she someone that is your type though? Yeah. 
Yeah, she, she made it to the end. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, nah, she seemed like a good lady and, you know, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for him? Yes. Do you have any children? No. No kids. Okay. Do you have any passions besides video games or hobbies that you do besides uh, video games or truck driving? I mean, the only passion I have is I want to get a lake house. It's going to be a you know nice little minute from now. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. How do you feel about cats? <sighs> yeah. I don't think my dog might like a cat. Okay. So is that like a deal breaker for you? Uh, not really. Not really? I'll make a, make a, like a... An exception. To make arrangements. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I have a cat in the and she's not going anywhere. I have a dog and he's rocking with me. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. I'm going to have a cat. All right. No. So I have a final question if there's no others. Okay. No? Uh, I do actually. Okay. So about the lake house, I understand that you probably want to own a property that's the lake house. Is it just like you want to live there or are you trying to make something from it or like what do you think firstly are you religious or are you do you yeah. believe in god yeah yeah so what do you think what else do you think god has called you to do like mm. is the lake house something that you're doing a business with or do you plan to do truck driving forever no nah, because i understand it's hard for a relationship so mm -hmm. once i kind of start to get that relationship moving i'm gonna try to stay more local and kind of, you know, be there in the lake house is, uh, one time I was with my friend at the lake house and I just seen it and I, I like, kind of dreamed like having a family there, having kids come over, mm -hmm. you know, having my like grandson, like, you know, sneak girls over, you know, we go drive on the boat and take them tubing and all of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I just want that. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes, I oh. tried out. Okay, is it a yes for you for her? Sure. We got yeah. a match. That's good. First round. We are one for one. That was a. Uh, that was interesting. Sometimes, sometimes not saying saying too much is just saying the right amount. Cause he genuinely didn't say a lot, <laughs> and he still came out clean. So. Hey, maybe, maybe silence is the perfect amount of noise, you know, you can make. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to them. I hope they them, make guys. it. I hope we get that lake house. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Dang. Oh, welcome oh, back. Oh, oh, it's the you going? It's the goat. What are you <laughs> it's doing? It's the goat. <laughs> yes, sir. You got that fit on, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, who told you? Shout out to a real one. <laughs> oh, my yes, goodness. Yes, sir. What's wrong with Buddy? <laughs> they wrong for this. They wrong for this one. Why they let them make come before you yes, like that? Yes, sir. That's a that's the goat. <laughs> that's the goat. <laughs> My boy. He didn't even get to step on the platform yet. Y'all already popped on him. Nah, they don't. They just don't want a real one. That's what it is. Hello, welcome in. What's your Hello. name? Hello, my name is Pointer. Pointer, how old are you? I'm 30. Okay, and what do you do? I am a talk show host and an educator. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. Uh, what are some things I do for fun? I love to do the three E's. I like to eat. I like to exercise and I like entertainment. I like to be entertained. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some things you look for in a woman? What I'm looking for in a woman, most importantly, uh, you have to love Jesus. I love yes, Jesus. Sir. Um, and I also want a woman that's romantic. You know, um, I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, you should let me love you. Let me be the one. <laughs> My goat. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, this, hey. Lord knows I needed this. If he don't get a match, it's 1,000% the women's fault. And I blame y'all for everything. <laughs> I'm, if he don't get a match, everything is your fault. Women always cheat. The government, is it's women's fault. I don't care. <laughs> I'm 1,000% biased. I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to... 
give you everything you want and need. And need. Uh, y'all know, y'all know that. Okay, okay, yeah. But Mario, you know. I want a romantic woman. Someone that lets me love them. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, poor communication. Mm. You know, I really want an effective communicator. Someone, if you're tripping, if there's a problem, let me know. You know, I'm open Talk to communicate. Song. And um, the, the ratchet music, mm. like excessive. I'm more Motown. I'm more old school. Okay. Yikes. I'm more Motown. You know, so I like the older music. Okay. So that's, that's kind of my thing. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Right. Let's go on over there. Okay, so right. right. <laughs> okay, let's start with your name and age. I'm JoJo and I'm 30. Hello, JoJo. Oh, okay. JoJo, why'd you pop your balloon? Uh, at first, it was it was the look, it was the hair, <laughs> but you're it's a character. It's fun, but uh, y'all don't want a man in his natural hair. Y'all don't want a black king with the hair that God gave him. Who gave him that hair? <laughs> Because God, God didn't give him that. That's you somebody else. You don't know what God gave him. <laughs> was you there? That was on a mannequin before him. <laughs> that ain't his hair. <laughs> so you don't think the mannequin was chosen by God to be there? No. Right when he... His right. name don't even match the hair. Just say you don't believe. <laughs> Just say you don't believe. Um, it's me. And then the, the ratchet music. Like, I listen to Motown and everything, too, but I, I, I got to have a little bit of everything. Okay. And ratchet okay. is on that list. <laughs> I just meant, I guess, someone exclusive. Just mm. only, only? Okay. ski ye. You know, that's just a little too much. <laughs> oh, like, I knew he was going like, to go there. But if you have the variation, that's that's great. Okay. You know. <laughs> now, is JoJo someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. She knows she's a 10. She's a baddie with her baddie friends. Okay, never mind. Oh, my yeah. God. So I was trying to give you that ratchet. I was trying to give you that. You I appreciate know. that. But yes, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> man. man she, yeah. <laughs> they just don't want a king, bro. They don't they don't see a they don't see a high value man when it's in front of them, man. I want those Coke bottle glasses. On on I my want, <laughs> I want those. Hey. You might get some new prescription. <laughs> Your name and age? I try so hard. <laughs> I thought it was relevant. Didn't y'all think it was? Okay. <laughs> My name is Shayna and I'm 30. Awesome. Okay. I love that you love the Lord. Yes. But honestly, you are way too funny for me. <laughs> I thought, don't y'all like a sense of humor? Like, it's, it's too much. Like, too it's much. way too much. Okay. <laughs> you seem you like a nice guy. I, it's just too much for me. Have you smiling all the time. It's too much for you, huh? <laughs> have, you, have you laughing? And you see, brothers, women don't even want to be happy. You make them too happy with too much laughter, they don't want you, brother. It's time. Get your passport. <laughs> for me. I understand. Thank you, <laughs> Shayna. No problem. You know. Now, is Shayna someone that's your type? He's not oh, serious, absolutely. by the yes, way. Yes, I love He's the purple, purple Rain. I'm a Prince fan, so. Purple so Rain, the GOAT. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go on over here. You're you don't know Prince? I know Prince. Purple Rain is his song. Yeah, y'all gonna. I bet it. you. I'm not gonna say what I want to say because y'all gonna get offended. Oh, shoot, boy. Let's not say what's. I don't want to listen to that. Bro, you don't want to listen to my gold. No, bro. My gold, Purple Rain. No. You don't want to hear the goat? What? No, bro. <laughs> no. He uncultured. Her name and age. I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Awesome. And Deja Marie, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um. When you came out, it almost seemed like you were in costume and I didn't like the hair piece or like the toupee or what that is. Um, but you speak <laughs> very well and you have a very nice smile. I love your teeth. Um, it's very welcoming. Um, wow. So you have a beautiful smile. It's so wild. So it was just the hair. Was it, it was just the, it just seemed like you were in maybe costume or something. I, I don't see that you would go out and dress like that or maybe have I'll, that. I'll switch it up for you. I can, I can vary. It, is it a hair piece? Uh, it, it, it identifies as a part of me, but I switch it up just like a lot of my beautiful queens. We all go from one hairstyle to the next in like a day or two. Mm. <laughs> or, let, or let's face, bro. Or let's face. I mean, if y'all. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. If y'all if y'all want to wear the hair pieces y'all want to wear, he, uh, he should be able to wear the hair pieces he want to wear. Too. So I like okay. to switch it up. That was it. I, I just didn't know if it was like your everyday look or if you were coming out to no, be No, I'll switch it up for you. I just didn't, no, like, I I did, I didn't like that. Deja Marie, I would switch it up. If you need me to switch it up. If we locked in, there is switching up. Because, I like that. Okay. 
Okay. But that was Are we locked okay. in? No, she's someone that you I'm, I'm going to say yes. Uh, she's thicker than a snicker. Are so I think friend? that's always, you know, a great <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Deja. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Awesome. Um, the reason that I popped my balloon, um, I just kind of felt like it wasn't serious when you came out. It kind of felt like a, like she said, kind of like a, like a show or something. I do appreciate it. You seem like a really nice man though, but I was just really trying to see the real you and I don't feel like I'm getting the real you right now. Could you get it? You don't okay. even know who okay. you're talking to. Okay. Okay. It's real though. Real I'm real. Boy. I'm real. You know, I'm a talk show host. I educate, love the kids, uh -huh. you know, it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would love to see she don't understand. She met the realest man on the planet. That is the real one. He's a real man so real, his whole objective in life is helping other real ones find real ones. Come on, bro. You can't make this up. Look at the resume. It's the, the thugonomics, it's man. The th it's simple thugonomics, man. It's simple. You're not getting it. It's simple, baby. It's simple. <laughs> the real one. Okay. Now she's someone that's your type? I love her height. Yes. Mm, so I'm, I, I, taller is better. Normally, mm. uh, taller children would mm -hmm. be produced. So, yeah, that would, that would be that'd be great. Yeah, I love the height. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Um, at first, it was the overall look. Um, it was just too cheesy for me. And then, you know, as I kind of listened to him, I know you say you were big on, you know, religion. And you are a Christian. Jesus. I'm a Muslim. And I'm big on mm -hmm. religion as well. Okay. And I just felt like that would be a clash. And... Mm. You're funny, you know, and I like somebody who makes me laugh, but more like a, that's my homeboy, my little brother, cousin, you mm. know, like, yeah, dating wise, no. Nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I understand. All right. Understand. Yeah. Is uh, Miriam someone that's your type? <laughs> yes, you know, Allahu Akbar. I uh, definitely. <laughs> God is indeed great. <laughs> God is indeed great. God is great. God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for this food. In Jesus' name, amen. Appreciate my Muslim sisters. Um, yes. What country? Uh, Somalia. I'm from oh, Somalia. Oh, man. Yeah. Wonderful. I might have to travel there. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Briante, uh, 27, and um, I can't take you home to my parents. I cannot. What would the parents say? What? What's, no. I'm a good, classy Poor man. Whole family. The they whole family. A clown. A clown? Whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa. I think she meant like they would clown him. Okay, hold on. Let's run it back. Poor hey, family. They the whole family. They would clown. A clown? Uh, I'm sorry. What's I, I don't. Do I look they like Ronald? Clown. Do I look like Not Ronald? You were oh, clown. oh, they, they would clown. clown. I was, I was yeah, going to respect whatever you say. Okay. No. Why, why would they clown me? You're not my type. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. I think it, it, they think I'd probably be joking taking you there. Mm, yikes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's someone that's your type. Low, yeah, low key. Low key. My boy came in with a, a nice clean suit. Hair perfectly done, mustache pristine. I know he hot. He got a nice edge up. You can see the edge up on the back. He got the suit, the vest, the button down. Mm-hmm. And you can't bring this type of man home. Maybe these comments were right. Y'all don't want good men. Y'all want thugs. <laughs> Y'all want gangsters. But but still key, but low key. Oh. Like on the piano, we going from maybe Why like a G to key? a A. Um, I mean, not really. Maybe the. Me and her maybe have similar hair kind of situations going oh, no. on. So. Now he pulled it. Now he pulled it, child. And pulled it. I kind of not a wig. Oh no, no, I'm just not a wig. no. Well, this isn't really either. But I like, I like no. the. Yours. You're still, I still key. I'm still feeling you. I'm still feeling. You. But you know, B, B for baby. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I just. Can't get with Dang. the overall appearance, and oh, I just wouldn't take you serious. And okay. I need someone that's serious. I like to have fun, but mm -hmm. and be goofy, but I think it's a little too much for me. A little too much. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But you're handsome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh, thank you. Is she someone that's your type? Stallion. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you. 
Okay. Awesome. Yes. All right, cool. Thank you. And we did get, oh, our girl that was hanging on to her balloon hanging ended on. up popping. She was hanging. She was Name hanging. an agent. Why'd you end up popping at the end? My name is Zola Stone. I'm 31. And, you know, I get it because I'm in entertainment too. But I just, I wanted to see you without the wig and the glasses. Well, these are prescription. I can't, I can't, decision. I wouldn't be able to see how beautiful you are without them. No, I have prescription too. Like, yeah. I'm I should have wore contacts. Um, I but I, I kind of figured you wouldn't want to take off your wig and your glasses and ruin the. He can't see. <laughs> y'all missing out on a good man. Y'all so y'all forgot he's an educator. He not gonna teach you hooked on phonics. He gonna teach you hooked on real because he real. <laughs> he a real, he a real one. one. He a real you one. You can learn a lot. From certified. <laughs> oh you, man, y'all don't see quality when it's in front of you. <laughs> Whole like look and this is the my brand. It's my hair. But I wanted you to do that to get my final decision because, like, I get it. Like, I'm you didn't even give me. You didn't have to pop. You could have been like, yo, yo, handsome. I talk knew show that man. you wouldn't do it. How did you know that about me? Because that's it's just only the been entertainment business. It's only been seven. And you're no. not gonna ruin your look for how good you look. There's a possibility. <laughs> but you popped you wouldn't on do me. It for me. Wow, she gonna tell me my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's true how you gonna tell me what I was finna do I'll take it off right now <laughs> I heard you say you know and then I can well, get my I, well you, you already popped so I'm kinda like my, my emotions I didn't mean to pop it but... oh you didn't mean to pop it no I just I have arthritis like my hands are bad and like uh -oh. it accidentally literally just popped do you want the balloon back no really uh, uh, if you're willing to take off your she kind of broke glasses. my heart she kind of broke my heart it was uh, if she hadn't popped i i think you i would have for real i'm serious i'm serious because it's not i don't know all my beautiful <laughs> queens saying it's a character okay. it's like this you know when when my baddies have wigs and weaves that's it's I'm well sure it's except oh my gosh <sighs> it's the best form of truth telling is when you can make comedy out of it bro because he not wrong. But then people will argue, well, what the other guy was doing, he was making comedy out of it. Yeah, the difference is, the difference is, the other guy, his tone and how he delivered it, it wasn't funny. And to the men that sat there and was, oh, he's right, brother. Oh, like, you just, it just wasn't funny. And the girl was unprovoked. Here, I this is a prime example of, it's not unprovoked. They are going on about his hair. So now he's bringing up the hair. That's mutual combat. There's a difference. That last girl, the girl he did it to on the last one, she had said nothing to him to deserve that type of that type of response. That's why him and the other guy are two different things. And if you can't see the two difference, then that just says something about you. Go ahead, talk it up. No, what is he gonna say? Nothing. Oh. I was listening. Oh, okay. You're just so handsome without the wig and the glasses. You That's don't what even they tell me. I would have switched it. I told the other wonderful young, I told you I would have switched it up. Okay. But okay, I'm, I ain't going, you know, I'm a little hurt because you Thank are you. gorgeous. I love the, you didn't ask if she's my type, Arlette. Come on, come on. Oh, because you, <laughs> That's my type. You, you didn't want her to get her balloon bag. It don't matter She has now. faith on her face. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. We Thank do. You. Thank you for coming on, giving us some Thank laughs. You. Thank you. I, I was serious. Oh, but, well, right. let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, ladies. I'll take Thank this you. mic. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> they just missed out on a prime candidate. Women, it's your fault. The scale is now 100% women's fault, 0% men's fault. Men are not the problem. I refuse to hear any type of dialogue or banter. Women, please take your L and sit in the back. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, James Moore. James, what uh, do you do? Uh, I work in software and IT right now. Okay, nice. Hey, brother. 35. 35, very nice. All right. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Uh, hang out with friends. Um, I kind of am into gaming, so okay. a little bit of that. Hey, shout uh, out to I gamers. Do, like, music, music production. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous, so uh, lately this year I went um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff, but just kind of kicking back taking it easy i okay. do like to work out a lot 
So fitness is a thing for me. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what are some things to look for in a woman? Um, pretty much just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of a, just is herself really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise work, like, mm -hmm. you know, has something she's passionate about mm -hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah, off Got the top it. of my head, I could think that's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? <sighs> deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so, I would say kids, but the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, for me, is that the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone okay. that's kind of just honestly like not not kind, mm. I think is kind of the things I could really mention. So okay. Yeah. All so. right. So we did get a pop down there. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right. We can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And uh, Zola Stone, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um. I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist, but I feel like you probably want a girl that's more like clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming yeah. that? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> you know, you probably want the clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, and... just just looking at your appearance. So <laughs> you're kind of what I like, just, just saying. I don't know. I just yeah. kind of figured, oh, he's probably not gonna like the face tats on me or. Why show up to the show then, ma'am? Because anybody can assume that about you, but nobody did. <laughs> you you didn't even give him a chance to. <laughs> you like, made a decision for him. Yeah, y'all y'all be shooting yourselves in the foot. Oh you, how you gosh. gonna say what type of girl he would prefer? And he ain't even he ain't even say nothing. You know, he what, you, what makes you think that? He's just so like clean, like perfect. I, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very. What? what? Maybe too strict. I don't know. What? I might be he too. He didn't free. say wow. nothing. <laughs> like I'm sorry. I don't know. What That's is strict about him? him? He got on a Miami top. <laughs> he remind me of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That's why I've been thinking about this entire time. Yeah. She didn't even hear what he had to say. It's just like, how are you gonna assume how he is, bro? <laughs> he didn't say nothing. Like, it's his tone. Classy, clean. You scared of his tone? And um, I'm also. A traveling exotic dancer, so okay. probably not gonna like that. All right, all right, I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's <laughs> like so, yeah, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but I all might right. be too wild. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. You so can I know before you were like, yeah, I like the tattoos, all that. So is she someone that's your type? Um, uh, everything's cool. The last part, yeah, yeah, I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment though, but. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank My you. My intuition yeah. on point. <laughs> no, your intuition wasn't on point because you you did all that. He didn't even say anything. But the only thing is just because you got one thing right doesn't mean your woman's intuition was 100% correct. Because he said everything else was cool. The exotic dancer part is it. That doesn't mean your intuition was right. You're in a career path that most people would not... Be comfortable knowing that while I'm at work, my girl's at work, but while I'm moving barrels or whatever I'm doing, my girl is doing twirls on a pole. Like, that's not a normal thing that people would be comfortable with. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your name and age? Briante, uh, 27. Okay. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no, oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she definitely would be my type. She's uh, very she attractive. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I like the color of the dress and everything. Very, yeah, it's just... Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah, um, single mom, so, you know, I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him. So, you know, we are, like, we're... Package. So if somebody doesn't accept him, then they don't get me. Mm. So yeah. That's fair. I totally understand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. We did get a pop right on over here. Your name and age. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. 
Okay. And Misha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just physically wasn't attracted. Um, you are a good looking man, no doubt about that. It's just I just wasn't physically attracted and I didn't see um, myself, you know, matching with you. Um, a little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, yeah, I don't think you're short, though. <laughs> so, okay. I'm not saying she was short. But um, just like, you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So, okay. That's it. okay. Mm-hmm. Now, she's someone that's your type? Uh, she, she She's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, okay. honestly. And why not? Um, man. <laughs> uh, just, just not my type. Yeah. yeah mm. I, don't, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> You can't pinpoint it? I can't pinpoint it. I can't pinpoint it. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess we'll let him slide. <laughs> yeah, let, let it slide. Let it slide. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Your name and age? I'm Shayna, and I'm 30. Okay. And Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically, just not my type. And oh. the outfit, too. Okay. What, what are you into physically? I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you, like... When I saw you, there wasn't like no kind of connection. Yeah. Um, but you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He's trying Appreciate to figure it. out is it something specific? Yeah, I want to know like what what kind of men are you mm-hmm. into? Like what, what what turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> Just when I saw you, I didn't feel a, any kind of connection. Lady, answer the question, bro. Y'all. If you, you wanna, if you want a Brutus, a brawly, muscular man, then say that. If you want a Jimmy, a Slim Jim. Didn't say that. Yeah, like you you the one who brung the physical thing up. You want somebody in between? Then say that. Yeah, tell him what it is. <laughs> you the one who started it's this no conversation. Shame in it. Okay. Um, but you are good looking, so. Alright, thank you. So I'm good looking, but I'm right, not we'll physically we'll your type. Yeah, so we'll, what is what about me physically one? is not your type? That's one slide. <laughs> your name and age. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Okay. And Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's cool. All right. Now, she's someone that's your type? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well, too, and the, the dress. So, yeah. Okay. Probably would be someone I would, I would uh, choose. Yeah. Cool. I'd like to get, you know, know you more. But just off appearance, that, yeah, I probably would choose her. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question, just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your type. Hmm. All right. Um, what do you feel like has been a very positive attribute and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Mm, okay, let's start yourself. over here. Your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Hi. Marie. I'm 33. So and do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a. What happened? That's literally all the things I just mumbled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, when you watch these, you start, you know, some of these answers you can predict, you know? We, there's nothing new under the sun. Every response that these women give, there has been somebody that's given that exact same response, word for word, bar for bar. Good ear to Everybody listen, the and um, I care about my partner's yep. emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of um, that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked something about like how you are? Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well, so that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I'm nice. I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like. They really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like, oh, well, you do this and you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. All right, thank you. And then we got one more. All right, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. Um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm naturally genuine um, okay. and nurturing. Um, I do have... Um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but um, yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, and then I scholars. always smile. I and I think like that's you. a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say. I always smile. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so I am going to hand you a pick. You are gonna have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. Just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff, so let me hand that over. There you go. And then just go ahead and pop one of theirs. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, don't take offense, don't take offense. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? She seems like a really nice person, but just, just not my speed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him, why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more, like, physically I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical, so I just wanted to kind of hear more, but we didn't match, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head on back. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna have you ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay, um... Question. I'm gonna think about. It. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Down there. Okay, let's start down here. So, what are your long-term goals? Like, with the next couple of years, what do you see yourself at? Um, continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting the money aside. Um, in the long run, I want to like live abroad, so possibly buy properties in Asia, mm -hmm. Mexico, um, invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. okay. Um, that sort of thing, really. That's kind of like been the forefront and of course meet someone that I could kind of establish a relationship with and uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in in the midst of all that? Because that seems like that's a lot for... I don't think it's too much. I think you're going to work and just, you know, money comes in time so you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do and then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and, you know, go in the right direction that, you know, hopefully they're both, you both are on the same page. So okay. yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Okay. Yeah. That's my question. All right. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. Any questions over here? Um, yes. Are you, how do you feel about long distance relationships or where are you, where do you live? I stay in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh, I've never done a long distance relationship so I'm 50-50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Where answer. are you? I know he said he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we you would live be- in Wisconsin? No, she's lying. Nobody nobody actually lives in Wisconsin. It's, 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 it's not a real- I have never heard anybody say they're from Wisconsin. It's not a real place. And part of my ignorance, y'all, because I'm, I'm really baffled. Wisconsin, Wisconsin's not a real place. That's crazy. It doesn't exist. I mean, shout out to Wisconsin. You can't shout out something that doesn't exist. Apparently exists. It it does, it does, it, it, listen to me. It, it doesn't exist. What kind of food y'all got there? They, they don't have food. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing. I'm playing, y'all. Shout out Wisconsin. Right away. I've, I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. I was like, That's all y'all got? <laughs> you got that out here? I'm not going to Wisconsin for that. Where's Wisconsin even at? Oh, Wisconsin look nice. Oh, they up there. Oh, it's because it's above Chicago. Oh, heck no. Nah. They a bunch of thugs. You know, I just, you just don't ever look really. The house is there. Huh? Let me see. We're not moving to Wisconsin. Let me see. I want to see the prices. Oh my gosh, we going through zone. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> Boy. Four beds, two bath for 270. That's more than what you'll get out here in Cali. That's ha That's 700. Look at know. that wooden cabin. I'm not paying two hundred and nine wildfires. That was your responsibility. Only you could prevent wildfires. Well, who the pink house? Well, who? This looked like a horror movie house. This pink. Sorry, y'all. We didn't got sidetracked. Oh no! 
It's a horror movie house. Now that has to be like an Airbnb or something. It's I wouldn't movie. even want to sell that. That's crazy. I would not sell that. It's seven bedroom, four bath. Yeah, I would not sell that. That's just, a good Airbnb. It's themed and everything. Yep. The seventh bedroom is for the ghost that still lives there. Sorry, y'all. I was 15. <laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never been to LA either, so. Oh, you got you to gotta come to LA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Even so, dying so LA. if you're ready to pop, you can pop. It's or if you have another question, you can be. ask the ladies another question. Um. What do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long-term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. You gotta be honest with yourself, people. It's good down here. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with, um, someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage, because family is everything to me. So I want somebody that's really grounded in that and grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, it's time to pop. Gotta pop one of their balloons. I feel like you gonna pop my Amazon, girl. This is hard. I know, I know, they're amazing ladies. <laughs> Where's my toothpick? You lost it? Oh, all right, Okay, um, there we go. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Yes, oh, you like, can. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I can't, no, I can't. Um, Do it. The Amazons don't get no love. Oh, oh, oh dang. Oh, you stand by that, bro. Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, pal. I'm a buddy. All right, BM. BM. He, he almost threw that camera. camera. He almost put you in a DDT. <laughs> He's about to be bouncing off your Scalati, buddy. You better watch how you walking, gangster. BM was about to hit you with the look at you, look at you, look at you. Hit my wife. <laughs> look at you. That camera is finna go flying that buddy. The camera drop hit the floor. Oh, you see the side <laughs> angle? He get thrown across the room. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Look, look, look at you. Look, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Shout out to BM, bro. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right. So why did we end up popping hers? I saw it was really, really, really tough. So what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Get it you. together, we're um, actors. Come on, get it together. <laughs> your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed, and I, I get what you were saying, because mm -hmm. um, time is like really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why the reason was. Uh, I felt she was a little more calm and matter about it. You mean like rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy, like I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like, man, we got to like do this now, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's come on up here. Come on up. Come on up. Selfie. All right. <laughs> so I have a final question. If you guys are all good. No. What is oh. that? No way. No, you can go. You can go. Oh, <laughs> you no way. Okay. That's the that's the selfie dance. They hold the the thing and they go like this. Oh, yeah. You you ain't see. I've seen it. See, that's how you know. I've seen it, but you are even like a princess. Nah, Arlette. This is how you know I'm a bigger fan than my wife will ever be because I pay attention to your husband. Pause. I pay attention to his dances. Hey, he got a lot of songs. We're not gonna play this. Song. Well, not that part, but I know the dance, bro. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but you. I matter. mean, I'm in a chair. What the freak you want you me to do? <laughs> you, you want me to start Move acting? On. You don't dance. This is fine. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. Oh, 
yes and a yes for you for her. Yeah. We got a match. Yay. Okay. But the man I'll that mattered mic, didn't get a match. You guys can go on off. Real one. Real yes, world. give it up for them. Hey, oh. that's an Amazon for show. <laughs> Okay, let's Shout go ahead and bring out our women. next single guy. <laughs> Hello, welcome. What's your name? Hi, my name is Jeremy. Jeremy, how old are you? What in my skin post? And what do you do? I'm an operations manager for a global logistics company. Okay, very cool. What are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a writer, a songwriter, okay. a poet, author, and coach. Very Dang, nice. Right. Uh, now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, honest women. Okay. That's number one. Uh, it's hard to find these days. Mm -hmm. What is so funny is alfalfa. <laughs> it's bothering me. Bro, that's his hair. Why did they um, put his man on like that? A woman that has a relationship uh, mm -hmm. with her spiritual father. Okay. Um, and my interpretation of that is God. Um, a woman that knows what she wants and that's focused on her goals. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers are lack of accountability, mm. um, are uh, women that don't communicate with men well. Okay. So if you have like dad issues or you got a reckless mouth, it's probably not going to work. Okay. Uh, and I hate to say this, but like the last one, I hate to I have to say this is hygiene. Hygiene. Okay. Yeah. It's your preference. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have no pop balloons. So you're doing well. <laughs> so what that means, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. Um, so for the first round, I am gonna have you paw mm, two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far. Who doesn't really fall into your type? Whatever it may be. So let me hand you a pick. Can I ask a question or do I have to Nah, respond? not this round, next round. <laughs> she said, nah. <laughs> this is tough. I know. Um, <laughs> it's just like Tinder, swipe. Or no. Okay, and one more. <laughs> oh, All right. Let's start with the first one you ended up popping. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Miriam, and I'm 34. And Miriam, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> you knew. You knew up until he popped you. It's okay. <laughs> because, you know, rejection is not easy to take for everyone. So it's fine. I think I was zoned out. Oh. <laughs> I was. No, no, seriously. Um, I think I just wanted to hear more, but I, I also couldn't hear him as much. Mm. But, yeah, I just wanted to hear more. Okay. So is he someone that is your type? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What makes him not your type? Dang, that industrial um, is crazy. He's too slim. Oh, and know. just, I think, the hair. Um. I just don't feel like braids is like something for an older guy in his thirties. Just, I mean, just my opinion. And um, what? What? A protective style is not meant for a man in his thirties. What? <laughs> <sighs> Y'all be losing me. <laughs> Y'all be losing me for real, cause I, I I don't understand. It's not to understand. It don't make sense. It just don't make sense. It's so there's nothing to say. It just don't make sense. When you first came out, I, I'm a appearance person. Um, I think it was like your bottom teeth, and I'm just big on teeth as well. I <laughs> so I mean, that really was just it, and yeah. All right. So is uh, Miriam's. I know you end up popping her balloon. Why'd you end up popping hers? <laughs> um, not really my type. Mm -hmm. um, it seems, I mean, you're 34. I didn't, I didn't see that, but uh, I thought she was a little bit older, and so oh. that's kind of why I popped. But, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then you did pop one more. Let's go over here. Your name and age. Deja Marie, 33. Okay. And Deja Marie, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear you talk a little bit more to see what you were about. So is he someone that's your type? Uh, typically not, okay. um, but I was still wanting to know a little bit more. 
You know, I'm going to ask, what makes him not really your typical type? <laughs> um, I would say the build. Okay. Um, I like a little bit more stocky, more um, like athletic. <laughs> um, and rough. then uh, you have a very, I love your height though. You. I love tall guys. So I love your height. That's a plus. Um, but typically I just like a little bit more um, build and then uh, the hair. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping Deja Marie's? Um, kind of What's so funny? Y'all are so, why did y'all zoom in <laughs> on his hair? Because they got to show why these women keep popping on his hair. A similar answer to you gave is just not, not usually my type. Like, I mean, you're beautiful, though. Thank like, you. Yeah, no argument uh, about that. You just not usually what I go for. So. And I don't know if that's good or bad because here I am. So. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Dang, he the first man to actually say it. He the first man to actually say it. Actually, he the first person to actually say it. <laughs> Maybe my preferences and my types is maybe a good or bad thing because for some reason I have these preferences and types and standards that I want, but here I am in my 30s still single. <laughs> okay, so for the next round, you can go ahead and ask a question now. Cool. Um... <laughs> Do any of you have children? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we have one down there. Okay. How many children? Okay, let's go down there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Briante, 27. Okay, and then I think he wanted to know, how many kids do you have? One. One, okay. I was asking because that's kind of my limit, like. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate Just the one. honesty. Okay. Just one. okay, so it's not a deal breaker. No, no, it's not a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah, one is my, one is my okay. limit, so Got it. I appreciate right. that. All right, let's head back. <laughs> okay, so we only have one that has a child. Any other questions? Um, yeah. Why are you single? Mm. Oh. oh! Well, we know why now. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> it's, a, it's a general question. Why are you single? People ask, why are we married? <laughs> yes. It's, it's a general, it's a general question. question. Why are we married? Because I love her. <laughs> okay. We'll still ask. And then we'll go. Okay. Oh, wow. We shoo shoo. <laughs> um. Yeah. Why are you single? Mm. Oh. Okay. We'll still ask, and then we'll go. Okay. All right. All right. Dang. Why is that a popping question? <laughs> that don't make sense. You know why it's a popping question, Arlette? Because a lot of people don't want to admit that there's. Probably a good reason why they're still single is their own fault. Or they play it in their head of why they're single and they look back at what their partner probably told them. And if they say it out loud, they don't want to validate what that partner probably said. Sometimes people are single just because they just, they're just antisocial. But the way they was popping, they probably didn't been told some stuff. There's something wrong with taking accountability. Exactly. You know, it's the truth. Let's, <laughs> let's start here then. Your name and age and why are you single? My name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I'm single is because I have done a really good job of figuring out what I like. And I feel like I'm at the age right now where I can date and I do know what I want. Um, I think my earlier years I was having fun, figuring out everything. And now it's like kind of all keen in. I'm focused. I know what I want at this point. Okay, that's good. That's fair. I have one more unpopped. <laughs> and uh, why are you single? I think I'm single because um, I tend to pick the wrong men. Um, I do go for more of bad boys and um, everything you're not probably supposed to go for, but uh, I like to take our little risk. But yeah, I think I'm. And that's why gambling's a sin. Stop taking risks. <laughs> y'all be y'all be actively choosing to ignore major red flags just because something looked good. Dang, he got abs, but he just robbed me. Dang, his hair is just perfect. He just took my car. Dang, he's such a he's such a gentleman. He just called me a B. Like it's just like, bro, how about y'all start looking at things for what they are? Because at the end of the day, as he gets older. All these beautiful things that y'all see on these people, they gonna get a little heavier. They gonna get a little wrinklier. 
They not going to look as good when you get 40, 50, 60. But you know what's going to stand out? The character. The character is the thing that y'all need to be looking for. I think people need to understand that sometimes the things that you want aren't the things that you need. Exactly. So Say it again. They heard me. Say it again. Listen. For the yo's in the back. Right. Sometimes things that you want right. or desire are not right. the things that you need. Exactly. I'm going to go out of my elements now. So. She want to die. <laughs> so we did get a few pops when you asked, why are you single? Let's start right here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. And I popped just because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know why I'm you're single. I'm single because just being in the entertainment industry is, is just tough. You, you know, I'm a recording artist and then I'm an exotic dancer on the side. <laughs> um, not a main thing. Kind of too old. My body hurts at this point. So <laughs> it's, it's not a... And it's, 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 it, y'all be, is y'all be ready to find love when y'all bodies is worn out, broken down, battered, bruised, tired, you, you didn't been through five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten partners, and now you ready to settle down. I don't think you could pin it, like, like, fully blame it on the industry because there are a lot of people that are married or in relationships that are in the industry. Mm -hmm. It's a matter if you really wanted to, if you really want to make it work. Reality is you were living your life the way you wanted to live. You was having the fun that you wanted to have. You were doing the things that you wanted to do. And then something in your genetic clock said, hey, gang, we can't do this forever. And now you're like, oh, I need to get it together. I'm about to be in my 40s, 50s, 60s. I need to settle down. And my thing is, Yo, like, when you think about all the stuff you did leading up to this, but then you want Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Perfect, what do you feel like justifies you to deserve a Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Perfect this late in the game? Which that, there's no such thing as either or. Yeah, that's, just, that's the part that don't get me. Like, I don't get that. You feel me? Every day. It's more the music side is every day, you know, but uh, you probably won't like that. So, okay. so you Girl. pop because you think he wouldn't like it. Just it just like reminded me, like, just dating in the industry is so tough. Okay. Maybe you should I don't know. On the show then. So is she someone that is your type, though? I feel I feel bad for her because I feel like reality is like morphed. I feel like it's it's like she getting G checked right now. Yeah. I think being on the show has like spotlighted it because now she's in front of a group of people saying like, "Hey, I'm an exotic dancer. I've been doing this industry now I'm tired." And everybody has the same reaction like, "Ooh, like why would you do that?" And I, I think it's just now settling in like this path you took at the moment, it felt like it was the perfect thing for you, but there's probably a lot of warning signs that people tried to tell you, like, get out of that, get out of that. And now you're sitting there like, dang, like, it's hard to find a mate now. It's the same way I was looking at, um, there was a TikTok of like a, a X star, an X star. She was like, dude, I've been wanting so, I've been wanting to find love for so long, but I want a guy that's just going to love me for me. But every guy I date, once they find out what I was doing in the industry, they want me to do what I was doing in the industry. And it's like, well, they're, they're wrong for doing that. Yes. But then they're also, when they look you up, that's what you're known for doing. So that's what they, 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 they're wrong for expecting it out of you. But then that's the notion that they get about you. It's, it's kind of like, uh, you got to think about it this way. When your parents give you a name, it's your responsibility to make something of yourself and give your name that stamp of this is who I am. This is who I'll always be. This is who I'm proud of being. And if you're not proud of who you are and what you are, then that's time for you to reevaluate like what you're doing in your life 
So you can have that final seal on your name. Like when I, when, when it's all said and done, I was this, 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 and this, and you're going to call me as such, whatever your name is. So just, just that. Um, probably not generally, but I did like your answer. So, um, I appreciate your like authenticity. I've seen more about you than I did at that particular time. So, um, like if we met, like, yeah, I would talk to her. Yeah, absolutely. And you're gorgeous by the way. So thank you. No, you too. A handsome. Thank you. Thank you. She's, like she's about to cry. You. No, you're good girl. You popped, you popped. <laughs> All right. Name an agent. Why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shayna and I'm 30. Um, you are handsome. You're definitely my type. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that sometimes, they're trying to find something wrong. Um, and I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. Okay, you could have just said that. Why you got a whole brick wall up? Ain't nobody asking to know your whole life story. <laughs> he just want to know why you single right now. That's it. You ain't met the right person. And this is, it was that easy. This is why I... I, I I talk so much against this anti men anti women rhetoric because I feel like it's a woman that. I feel like it's so stupid, right? Because this anti women anti thing, it's a general question. Men have asked this question, women have asked this question, but for some reason, we have to make it into a gender war thing. I just feel like when men ask this question, they just blah 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 blah. But if a woman asked that same question, you would be okay. If the man doesn't want to answer the question, then he must be wanting to hide something and vice versa. And this is why I be saying all the time in these videos, men and women, y'all both are the problem. Y'all don't deserve each other. Y'all are both the problem because you guys don't want to acknowledge the flaws on either side. All the men, for some reason, believe that all the men are perfect. All the women, for some reason, believe that all the women are perfect. But then if you're perfect and she's perfect and y'all to get together and it's not perfect, then guess what? Somebody lying. Then y'all try to make somebody accountable for the things that other women have done to you or what other men have done to you. They're not those women. They're not those men. So why are they being held responsible for something or for uh, actions that somebody else did towards you, that doesn't make any sense. Yep. Broken people. You can't hold everybody to that standard. Broken people are melding broken people. Bro, stay over there. My rebuttal to that is okay. I was more so asking to see if there was any accountability or self-evaluation. Right, mm -hmm. and there wasn't. Hold on, let me system. play that back. I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just did not like the question. I feel like when men ask that sometimes, they're trying to find something wrong. Um, and I'm single because I'm single. I haven't met the person. I just didn't like the question. My rebuttal to that is okay. I was more so asking to see if there was any accountability or self-evaluation that you were like willing to present in this conversation, any vulnerability you was willing to give me in this small space. Um, but I, I can see how that can become like our same aggressive. And I'm a yeah, he's right. Because that is a question where you have to take accountability for. Why are you single? What did you do and what did your partner? You Everybody can easily say, I'm single because my partner did X, Y, and Z. But for some reason, whenever you ask, okay, your partner did X, Y, and Z, what did you do? It's suddenly, why are you asking me that? Blah, 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 blah. It's because we don't want to take accountability for the stuff we do. I think I think when you finally realize you've grown as a person is when you're able to take accountability for things that you've done or be more self-aware of the things that you do and that you don't do or shouldn't do and all that kind of stuff because life is about experiences. You're going to go through things in life. You're going to experience things in life. Nobody's perfect and nobody's meant to be or intended to be, but it's like you are still responsible for you and your actions alone. So the, the least you can do, the most you can do is take accountability for your actions. It's not that hard. I'm a very accountable person. Yeah. Um, every relationship that I've been in, I've always taken the time to kind of step back and see areas that I can improve. Um, but it just didn't work out. You know, I just, I just didn't like the question, but I do appreciate, Fair you enough. know, and you're very handsome. So, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> So in what ways did you, what areas did you need to improve? If your doctor asks you, why are you overweight? Are you going to go get a new doctor? Because you didn't like the question? Nope. He he want, he genuinely wants to know, why are you overweight right now? What's going on? Yep. And I can tell the doctor, I'm overweight because, shoot, 
my work life is terrible. And that's 100%. I'm not eating enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating one meal a day. Yeah. That's just what it I'm is. I'm not working out enough. I'm not active enough. Yep. Why, why are you overweight right now? I'm going to go get a new doctor. Yeah, that doctor I just had to ask me that question. Now give me a new one. Ask some Appreciate stupid that. questions. What's wrong right, with you? And now is she someone that's your type? Um, yeah, like, yeah, generally, um, she has a great smile. Seems like she's authentic and genuine. Um, so yeah, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Name and age and why you ended up popping. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Um, so I pop, I don't think it's a bad question, but I don't necessarily like the question either. Um, it definitely, um, gave me like to see like, is there something wrong with me? Which is why I'm single. Um, cause I feel like that's kind of what most men get at, because I have heard that question before. Um, I don't think it was a bad question. It's just, yeah, it was that. No, there's something wrong with you then. Because if you don't see it as a bad question, but then you also don't like the question because you feel like it's somebody trying to find out what's wrong with you, is there something wrong with you? Because if there's nothing wrong with you, then answering that question should be simple. And you'll know when somebody's asking that question to like poke at you and see like and like pick at your flaws and all that other kind of stuff you'll know but i mean it's a question y'all at the end of the day it's not gonna kill you it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna lock you up in prison it's not gonna do any of that yeah. you either answer it or you don't and when you don't answer it it's gonna look bad it's just that's just what it is mm -hmm. otherwise okay. yeah so i see someone that is your type apart from that question i like his height and complexion you look nice Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah, she's beautiful. Your eyes, complexion, yeah. Thank seem you. very nice, authentic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we do have two beautiful ladies left. Any other questions you want to ask them? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had an unlimited bank account, uh somebody wrote you a blank check to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? Mm. Start over here. <laughs> um, I would probably, I, because I played sports, um, volleyball, so I would probably do a nonprofit for, um, you know, kids who don't have the ability to get to college and stuff and kind of create something so they can have the ability to go to college, get the right funding, get the right, you know, um, mentorship and stuff like that bm who did, who did you beat up in the background that y'all got the feds <laughs> circulating bm who who was who was back there going to jail you know it's arizona they be having a lot of fires he stuff. probably beating up old boy that almost bumped the toilet back there look at you look at you look at you got the cop coming down i would hope not <laughs> that's what i would do for them really big with kids so <laughs> let's go on over here okay if you want to go ahead and answer his question um, I would say first off, I would take care of my family and um, start a business, of course, and start a business for with my family as well. And significant other, of course. Um, yeah, I kind of like keep the generation. Hey, what happened to Amazon? She got picked. Oh, yeah, she did. Huh? So, okay, yeah. my fault. My fault. I'm like, <laughs> all, like, foundation going. I don't know. What was wrong with me? I'm like, what she made her? the grand selection. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ladies, any questions for him? Do you have... Oh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> do you have children? I do not. Okay. All right. That one was... Uh, okay. Any questions over here? Do you like to have fun? Like, I do. are you spontaneous? Absolutely. Do you like to go outside? That's the only reason I'm here. Go to the I'm beach here. at night or something? Like... I love long walks on the beach. I said at night. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just, you know, if I just like a fun person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll be back for you then. <laughs> okay. Why did we end up popping? Um, I, I ended up popping my balloon just because um, the connection. Um, I did want to actually get to hear you and know, know more stuff. But at the end, I just wasn't feeling the connection at the end of it. But very handsome and you got yourself going. Thank you. Okay. All right. What changed in two okay. seconds? What's going down here? What'd you say? What changed in a matter of two seconds where you didn't feel it? All of a sudden, you didn't feel a connection. Or did you not feel a connection all along and you just made it to pop at the last minute? I don't know, man. It's At this point. It's, it's hard to be decisive it, nowadays. Yeah. It, so it's, it's, I get it. There's connections. There's jujus. There's auras. There's, uh, just, I don't know. 
Are you a family person? Like, Absolutely. do you like to go to other people, like your significant other's family? And are you um, act actually, um, do you interact or you just sit there? And I'm the uncle with the slides on at the barbecue. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big uncle. Okay. She says, say <laughs> Okay. Let me bring you on up. Come up. <laughs> he got the unk starter fit. He got the nice clip back hat. The new balances. Them cargo shorts. That blue polo. With the shades that are always on the backwards of the hat. And for some reason, he holding a spatula, but he ain't never at the grill. That's a certified unk. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> I forget anything. Okay. So I'm really feeling with a With a beer in his hand, in his other hand. <laughs> I, got, I got one uncle. He don't wear none of that. So I... I uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yo, uh, I don't want to name drop him. Uh, Yo, light-skinned uncle. Hey, my uncle. That's my cousin. He do not... Bro. He's a unk. No, nah. he come. He come to. He, he come, come to pick up a plate and go. go. He comes. He comes to pick up a plate and go. He comes. He gets his beer. He gets his plate. He and talks he to gone. the family for twenty minutes. And he gone. He laugh, nephew, and then leave. Gone. Yeah, that's and a he unk. Wearing none of that. What you, so you, what you just said. That's an unk. He just wear a white tee, some shorts, and some white Nikes. He's one of the same fit every time I see him. And if there's no others, that's an unk. Okay, so is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this. Y'all going off. Yes. Okay. Three matches. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Let's I don't need no more matches, man. Let's go ahead and bring out our next ahead. single guy. Everybody fail. That's crazy. Hello. Welcome hey. in. What's your name? Hi. Hey. Uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how old yes. are you? I'm 34 years old. Okay, and what do you do? I work in telecom and I'm a real estate agent. Okay, now what are some things you like to do for fun? Yes, yeah, so I like to travel. I like to travel to Mexico primarily and uh, I would love to find someone to take with me. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. and now what Not are some things soon. you look for in a woman? So, uh, so like some of my deal breakers. Oh no, what, what do you look for in a what woman? What do I look for? Mm -hmm. So someone that is very feminine, someone that is beautiful of course, and someone that can cook. I love mm. to eat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you cook yourself? Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Some of my deal breakers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, cigarette smoking. Okay. Uh, someone that may have uh, a kid. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over there and see why they ended right. up popping. Okay. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Hi, Deja. Deja, why'd you pop? Uh, the reason I popped, it was just initial attraction. Um, it wasn't there for me, and I do typically like uh, taller men, um, but you have very, very beautiful, striking eyes. You have a nice smile. Thank so you. outside of that, that was pretty much all. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. all right. Now, is uh, Deja Marie someone that's your type? Uh, not initially. However, uh, past the initial look, I could possibly love her personality. Hey. Okay. Yeah. So Smart. you said not initially. Is there something specific? or? Uh, just the way that uh, I, I usually like a little bit darker women, if that makes sense. My black queen. You're darker than her. <laughs> I was gonna say it, but then I was like, you know what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I understand. All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay. Your name and age. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Um, the reason why I popped, um, I personally like darker skin men, okay. so, it, um, but you beautiful. I mean, eyes are amazing. You look amazing, and I can tell you, you got your stuff together as well. Thank you, Misha. You Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now, is uh, Misha someone that's your type? Yes, okay. for sure. 100%. <laughs> yeah. I told y'all, ever since Drake lost, the light skin powers have disappeared. The dark skin era is back. And Drake you know is what? Ugly anyway. Huh? Drake is ugly anyway. What the freak you? Why Drake taking it? What you throwing shade at Drake for? <laughs> what he do that? <laughs> same. What? <laughs> I don't know why Drake caught a stay, but all right. <laughs> what the freak? All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Okay. And Miriam, why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's just the height, honestly. Okay. I think you're very handsome, but you, you have beautiful eyes. But just, just the height. I appreciate yeah, like, that. Thank he, you. He, he looks he looks taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> taller than me is about six, uh, you know, like six four. Oh, so you want to you want to climb a tree? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got I got I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right. Now is Miriam someone that's your type? Uh, not at all. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. why not at all? Uh, she is, uh, she's definitely a beautiful woman. It's just uh, not initial attraction mm. at first. Okay. Yeah. That's there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. Okay. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. Okay. And Zola Stone, why did you pop your balloon? I'm not the best cook. <laughs> um, okay. And it's I dated you? a real estate agent before, and it just kind of clashed because I work more in entertainment music industry. Okay. And so he was just kind of trying to change me in a way. That's not him, though. Stop projecting your past relationships on every man you meet. Mm. This entire episode, you have done nothing but project and assume before the men even talk to you. Everything. You're too clean. You're too uptight. You're probably not going to like me. You're blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, you're not even giving these men a chance to decide whether or not they like you. You're making the decision for them. I see that that's your biggest problem. And I, I feel like, and it's no shade or disrespect, but I feel like she's not fully confident within herself or accept uh, acceptance of herself. You're not giving yourself grace, like at all. You don't. You never know who's gonna like you, and who's not gonna like you, and you're just you're shooting yourself in the foot by making assumptions for people without even having the interaction with the person. Because it's it's getting to the point. It's starting to make people question. Why were you even on this show if everybody you were going to project and just, yeah, he's not going to like this. You knew what your profession was before you came on this show. Maybe this will be an eye opener for her and maybe it'll be something that, you know, she can start to work on within herself. So I know that I, I shouldn't, you know, judge that. Maybe try again. But I don't know. I just don't have a good experience. Like, no, it's all good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. No, she's someone that's your type. Yes, for sure. Hey, yeah. what makes her your type? So she's uh, very beautiful. I love her eyes. And she's melanated. So that's definitely something I, I love about her. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have beautiful eyes. Too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then we did get one more up here. The sad part is a lot of people have found her attractive or said that she was their type, but she shooting herself in the foot every single time. Yeah, anxiety and all that will do that to you and self-doubt and all that. I feel like, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. That will do that to you. So you you are in control of you, not all of the things that's going on in your head. Those Here. things are temporary. They come and go. Right. Your name and age. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Okay. And Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I know he said his preference was darker skin. And so I was like, okay, I'm light skin. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, that's my preference too. So I'm we kind of looking the, the same right now. Right. Twins. Right. No, no, it's all good. Eyes and everything. <laughs> you guys do like favor each other yeah. a lot. <laughs> Maybe related a little yeah. bit, right? <laughs> so yeah. Okay, okay. Now I know we just said y'all look related, yeah. but is she someone that you type? My sister. Uh, <laughs> not really. I'm going to uh, say that. And uh, otherwise, beautiful eyes. Thank I you. love the hair. I love the tattoos. And she's beautiful overall. She just uh, wouldn't be my type because we do look really too similar. I gotta to get be honest a, with you, uh, but a blood test. Yeah, overall beautiful woman. Right, Thank you. Cool. Thank yeah. you. All right, so we do what have one balloon left and popped. Any questions for our lady here? Yes. Okay. So uh, from your pat, your last relationship, name one thing that you did wrong and one thing that he did wrong. Lady, you. <laughs> Accountability is a hard thing, bro. It's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people. You are going to stay single because you do not just want to take accountability. What did you do? It can't be this bad that you're this terrified to say. No, it's nothing that she could have done. It's just pride. It, it It's just, it's literally just pride. It doesn't matter what she did. It's pride. She can't humble herself enough to admit what she did wrong. Yeah. I'm not answering it's, it's what it is. Okay. It's okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to answer that only because we're starting off new. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I don't want to bring what was in the past into something I'm starting new. Mm -mm. If we don't reflect on the past, how can we make a better future? The first key to self-improvement is self-reflection. 
it just seems to me like whatever you did is clinging on to you, like she said. But it also seems like this is probably another reason why I can imagine in your relationships is because you struggle with accountability. Just say what you did wrong. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Queen. So, I, what were you trying to get out of that question? So to help her better understand. Uh, just trying to at. see where her head is at and see if, if there was like any issues I kind of foresee mm. in, at the beginning. Okay. And you know, yeah. every relationship, it's both partners. You know, I'm not saying it was just me. It was just him. It was both of us. Okay. Um, so what I'm did y'all do? Something old into something new. I'm not okay, that's fair you. enough. I appreciate that. You are very beautiful. Thank I would you. have loved to take you out. Oh, okay. Okay, you're handsome too. You're always <laughs> popping on these questions, girl. <laughs> Even the host is calling you out because it it look it looks bad. It looks bad. Do you want your balloon? Nobody's nobody's forcing you to answer a question you don't want to answer. But if this is a reoccurring question that you've been getting asked from multiple men, even outside the show, and you refuse to answer it, then it looks bad. It just it, yeah. Go back. I do not want my balloon back. Right. Well, can I ask a question before I... Well, let me no. ask a question. Is yeah. it going to lead to you getting your balloon back? It might. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so I am a believer, and my relationship with Christ is very, very important. Yes. What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. And what does your relationship with Christ look like? I either... If I don't go to physical church every Sunday, I watch it on YouTube. And uh, every single Sunday, I have to get some type of intake of, uh, of Christianity. Okay. Religion. Yeah. Okay, I'll take my balloon back. I'll take it back. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take it, Let's back. Go. I'll take it back. Jesus is going to save you. Yeah, hopefully. I, I, I will take that, but. Yeah, hopefully Jesus can help you find some accountability too, man. Because repentance is a form of accountability as well. It's you admitting to God what you did wrong and seeking to turn away from that wicked thing. It's called discernment. Yeah. <laughs> Come at it. Let's get that balloon back. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's let's continue this conversation up here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any other questions for him? Do you have any children? No children. And where do you see yourself in the next few years? I intend to retire by the age of 40 in uh, the country of Mexico and have properties all around the U.S. that are being rented out. And that passive income is going to fund our lifestyle. And where do you live? I live in Las Vegas. Okay. So I do stay in Florida. Okay. How do you feel about that? We can work things out offline and we can see how things go later on. Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for that too. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got the balloon back. Okay, so is it going to be a yes for you for <laughs> yes? <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her? Of course. 100%. We got a match. <laughs> Dang it, it was four. I'll take this yes. and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. Julius, how old are you? Yes, I'm 34. And what do you do? Um, yeah, I'm an OTR truck driver. Okay, yes, very cool. Yes. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Uh, for fun, man, I do a little bit of everything. I like to play pool, uh, bar hop, comedy clubs, sip and paint. Uh, okay. Skate rooms. Okay. He's doing his thing. Uh, shit, I know it may not look like it, but I love to eat. So <laughs> different restaurants, trying out different foods. Uh, yeah, every year I go to a different. I mean, I go to Laker games every year. So okay. uh, that's nice. Yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. And he uh, living what his best life. For a woman. Living my best life. Oh, what I look for in a woman. <laughs> yeah, I gotta dig deep in my soul for this one. <laughs> All right, look. He's so funny. I'm looking for a woman that's has not given up on love okay that still mm. believe in the process i mean the concept of falling in love because mm. you know uh let's be honest like every relationship is not perfect so you know every relationship you have your ups and downs so you know i'm looking for a woman that's gonna stick around when we having our downs mm. you know because like uh, as long as i'm not cheating on you or putting my hands on you or disrespecting you in any type of way any disagreements we have we could get through that okay. so you know yeah uh I'm looking for a woman that knows how to think for herself and that's and and that's oh, I'm sorry uh and that's not going to uh follow behind a crowd you okay. know that's not mm. He talking his talk but I'm tell you now brother you better the hive is buzzing So we'll see what what B comes out 
Mm -hmm. Gonna alter her opinion just to appease the crowd. So, you know, a woman that's gonna stand no business. Uh, okay. Man, I'm looking for a woman that's genuine, you know, a woman that's kind, okay. loving. <laughs> now, what are, no, you gonna keep going, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? <laughs> deal breakers. Oh, uh, I would say a woman that does not know how to take accountability. Mm. Uh, a woman that doesn't keep her house clean. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, if you got kids and your house is a little messy or stuff like that, like, that's cool if you got toys around, if you got laundry piled up or something like that, that you just ha haven't got around to doing it, okay, that's cool. But I'm talking about, like, if I go to your bathroom and behind the sink, it, it look like it ain't been, I mean, behind the toilet, it look like it ain't been touched in months. Like, that's the deal that's breaker. Like, you know, IG. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we do not have any pop balloons. Oh, we don't? No. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch it on over to you. Mm, you know what? Let's start off with you having uh, to ask the ladies a question. Question. Yeah. Oh, he got okay. lucky. It's kind of like a three in one, maybe a four in one, depending on how I word the question. But uh, how long have you been single? Uh, how long did your last relationship last? And name one thing he did wrong in that relationship and name one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Okay. We'll start here with your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. Um, my last relationship. Uh -uh. She didn't pop uh -uh. this time. Uh -uh. No, 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 the no, last, the no. Last time she no. Popped, she didn't like the question. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You, you flip. Nah. All right. Whatever. All right. Answer it. I guess. My name is Jojo and I'm 30. Um, my last relationship was a while ago. A while ago, many, like many years. Is it a time frame? Um, it was like 2016. 2016. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what was the second part? Uh, how long did it last? How long did your last relationship last? Uh, we were together for like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one thing he did wrong, and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. I think both of us kind of had bad communication. Bad um, communication, okay. But what mm -hmm. ended it all was like distance. We distance. ended up moving away from each other. Yep. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. If that was it, why did you do this whole nonsense, I can't answer this question? Lady, that wasn't bad at all. Y'all be, be in y'all head so much, it makes y'all overcomplicate questions because that answer was good. Communication was a problem in distance. You over here, the way you was acting was like you, I cheated on him with his brother or something. Like that's the energy you was giving off. I can't answer this question. It's not that deep. Okay. All right, let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Um, I've been single for two years now. Two. My last relationship lasted collectively about three years we started off as friends um, we built a very deep friendship with each other we became best friends and then that evolved into a romantic relationship gotcha. um, the reason we ended we just were not on the same page I think um, we wanted to he wanted to deal with me for quite a while but mm -hmm. once it we actually met he wasn't ready to fully commit in that way he still kind of wanted to do his own thing um, and at the place in my life, I want someone that's serious and committed and is wanting to settle down and build something in depth, like you stated. Right. Um, so because of that, I just didn't want to pass any more time um, with something that he wasn't 100% in with. Got you. Mm -hmm. And can you name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong? Um, I would say his lack of commitment okay. or just his lack of discipline um, because we went over what our boundaries were when we started and with us being close friends initially um, I had a clear understanding of what he was looking for I thought he had a clear understanding of what he was looking for um, but when it came down to just having that full commitment and not being able to go out and do what he wanted to do um, that wasn't sitting right with me so I think that was the main thing that ended our relationship mm -hmm. um, as far as me I think um, I would take accountability in that relationship there were certain things I seen in our initial friendship that should have been considered red flags and um, you know small things like that or going out or things he likes doing on his free time that I kind of skipped over hoping he would change gotcha. um, did you answer the question yeah I don't think you answered the question at the all. red flag you're not seeing a red flag he asked you what did you do 
And if for some reason it's all leading back to him. Did you enable him? You enabled the behavior? After going out, other things he likes doing on his free time that I kind of skipped over hoping he would change. Gotcha. Um, so I would say that was probably my fault is looking at the initial red flag and following through thinking I can change him. Gotcha. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Misha and I'm 27. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My last relationship was about a year ago and it did last about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start with me. Um, something that I could have done better was let go. Um, sometimes when I'm so invested into something, I don't know how to let it go. Um, so when I had saw the signs and I had saw he wasn't interested, he, they, he could have stayed as long as he wanted to, but he just didn't go. But I saw he wasn't interested. So I should have let go. Um, gotcha. And that's where I hold accountability for. Something that he could have done better was um, don't commit to something if, like, it, I wanted marriage. Um, and he kind of went along with it. And um, it just, that's not what he wanted. He wanted to go out. He wanted people. to party. But he wanted to kind of play um, the House. husband. But mm -hmm. that's not what he wanted. So. Gotcha. Got it. Your name that. and age and the answer to his questions. My name is Miriam and I am 34. My last relationship, um, I think it was like 2018. I'm not sure because it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were on and off for like 10 years. Um, <clears throat> the qu That's last question was what? On and off switch. Oh, okay, last <laughs> story. Oh, you so said you said 2018? Yeah, and, and then basically, you, uh, just name one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong in that relationship. Um, I think from I don't think it's just one thing, but the icebreaker for me was he got physical. Oh, physical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's so that right. was like you know, like I said, we was on and off for like ten years. So when you hold on to something and you're like, okay, you're hoping for someone to change, but yeah, when it gets physical, I don't do that. So and you said he got physical, so. What's one thing that you did wrong in that relationship? I attack back. That's one thing I think okay. I do, like, because yeah. I'm like very dominant as well. So uh -huh. I don't do too well in control. I feel like a man should know how to be a man, and right. a woman should know her place as well. But it's like I don't know how to explain it, but I think it was just more so my mouth. Like gotcha. I attack with my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So it's like if you go low, I'm gonna go lower. That, <laughs> I think that's my thing. <laughs> you know? Mm. But that's about, that's really it. Well, he wrong for he wrong for putting his hands on you, men. We should not ever at any point put our hands on women at all. And women, y'all got to understand, just because your words can't physically hurt him, don't mean that your words can't make somebody snap. A lot of y'all get into a lot of situations because y'all do not know how to talk to people. Y'all don't know how to watch how y'all say. Y'all don't know how to communicate properly. Y'all don't know how to be respectful. And that is one thing why a lot of these men be complaining about y'all. It's not what y'all physically are doing to these men. It's y'all mouths. And men, self-control is a necessary. It's not a discussion. If you can't handle your woman's mouth, learn how to walk away. But putting them in harm, right at that point, you're not a man no more. Because you're doing the one thing God intended us to never do. So self-control, discipline, learning how to handle your anger and your temperament, that is what you need to do as a man. Women, learn how to communicate respectfully. Just because you ain't been popped in your mouth one time don't mean you get to talk your talk to everybody. Because one day you're going to mess around and you're going to find out. But when y'all find out, what is the first thing y'all start doing? Y'all start crying. Whether it be a man that hits you, a woman that hits you, a dog that hits you, a bear that bites you. Learn how to talk to people. You know what you Just understand people have their limits. Yep. Just people have their limits. And just be respectful to one another. If y'all don't know how to effectively communicate, then y'all don't have no business being around each other. Until y'all learn how to do so, just... Oh, y'all separate ways or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to our next lady. Name, age, and the answer to his questions. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. How you doing? And I just, I didn't want to be rude, but when you asked the question, I wanted to pop already. No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm 
Why are you holding your balloon? Pop. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Why we popped then? Um, because I already know you're not gonna like it. Oh. But my last relationship. Oh, lady, just, What's just. What's that thing called? A, a pessimist? What's it called? Pes a, a pessimist is somebody who's always thinking of the negative. That's her. Yeah, you being on this show was a waste. I'm sorry. I I wanna I wanna root for you. I wanna cheer for you. But you genuinely being on this show was a waste because. The men didn't take you out. You took yourself out every single time. And it was just like, at that point, th you must be a masochist or something. You must enjoy this or something because you are self-harming yourself mentally just for the sake of it. Relationship was New Year's. I already know you're not going to like it, but my last relationship was New Year's, January. So that's just... So you popped because you assumed that I wasn't going to like it? Yeah, because it's so recent. And the other women, you know, it's been a couple years. And no, that ain't you know, no you know the healing process. It ain't no <laughs> oh, so you're not healed yet. No, I am. You but are? I'm just saying, oh. I don't know. Maybe oh, if it were not. me, I don't know. That might but you're not him. be but yeah, a problem, you know, just yeah. nah, you January. Can't like that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't assume months. like that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's I just fine. assumed. <laughs> If you want to you get know, your balloon back, you recent. could, but you don't have to assume like that. Nah. But even if you don't mind about that, like, I just feel like you're such a pretty boy. Like, I get... <laughs> oh, my gosh. What are you intimidated about, ma'am? It's not even intimidated, bro. She's... This This is what, like... I don't know. This is... This is... She needs, she needs a therapist. She needs... She needs to seek psychological help. She needs help because you can't sit there and do this. Woe is me. And I just assumed I blah, blah, blah. Woe is me. And then immediately in that same switch go. Yeah. By the way, you're a pretty boy or, you know, you're just a little uptight or whatever. There's something wrong. You're, There's something wrong. You're willingly victimizing yourself off of nothing. And then once the victimization is over, you're immediately into judging, which is crazy. There's there's something wrong. I don't mind about that. The you recent, could, but you don't have to assume like that. But even if you don't mind about that, like, I just feel like you're such a pretty boy. <laughs> like, I get, no, like, no, you're very handsome, very sexy. Definitely not a pretty boy. But I mean, like, I just get player vibes. Player they make vibes? me nervous. Yeah, like player. I get the player. So you hmm. project it. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, I just got he, the player right. vibe. No, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have said that uh, if I was in my early 20s, then you know you would have been spot on. But nah, now I'm grown. Like, you know, life You're is looking, more serious. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's more serious for me. How so, old like, are you? Yeah, I'm 34. Oh, 35. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's how that was a dangerous projection. It's like, man, lady, you. All right, girl, don't worry. You pop, you pop. <laughs> All right. She needs so, help. So after hearing those responses, you know, Respectful. hearing everything they Respect. had to say. Yeah. Me saying she needs help is not any jab at her. It's genuine. It there's there's certain key things that you can notice in an individual where there's something mentally that they're struggling with. And so me saying she needs help is not a jab at her. It's I'm see I, even with me just watching an hour of her on here, it's very clear to see that one, whatever she's doing in her lifestyle has created a type of victim or type of zero confidence because of the path she's chosen in life. And then once that path clears out and that conversation gets thrown out and people go, no, it's not that. It's like, oh yeah, then it's, in it's instantly on to projection. You go from victim to projecting. It's like there there's something wrong. Yeah, I wasn't saying that to say that you were doing that. I was just saying it respectfully just in case other because some people take it the wrong way when you say she needs help you need help because it's a clear indicator like there's something wrong with this person and they're not okay as is and sometimes that's hard for people to like hear or process and a lot of people now people use like therapy wasn't a really a thing that was accepted it still isn't it's, it is now to some degree 
But I feel like some people throw therapy as like a jab at people. That's why I said respectfully speaking, like she she might need help. I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop uh, one girl's balloon. So let me give you a pic. Get one. There you go. Hey. Just go ahead and pop one of theirs. So I might have to go with you. Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I ended up popping because when I asked uh, what's one thing he did wrong and one thing you did wrong, it was kind of basically like you led with two things that he did wrong or the reason you felt like you did something wrong was because what he did. Mm. So, you know, I felt like it wasn't no accountability there. Okay. So that's only the reason. Okay. <laughs> and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, initially, I liked the things that you said. Um, I think we have a lot of things in common as far as what you like to do in your free time um, or a lot of things I like to do on my free time as well. Um, I think you're very well spoken. Um, I find you to be very attractive. I like your skin tone. I like your tattoos. You. I like how you speak. You. Um, you seem to know what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and I like that. So I just wanted to hear more. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Another one. Okay. Yes. Uh, based off your personality, name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Okay. Mm. Start right on here. Okay, you said based off um, your personality, person. your character traits, you know, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Name some intangibles you will bring into a relationship. Um, I communicate well. Um, okay. I I'm also a good listener, um, and I'm. Did she say people people can change? So she her relationship she in 2016 she did not communicate effectively. People can learn from that. So okay, yeah, I'm fun. Fine. I'm kind of quiet, but once uh, once you get to know me, once I get comfortable, I'm like I have a very fun personality, and I like to go out, have fun, and I can. You know, bring good energy into the relationship, um, especially being open-minded and just being me, being trying to be, you know, like a great person and gotcha. again with communicating and being listen a good listener and stuff. Okay, that's cool. Let's go down here. Um, something that I would bring into the relationship, I'm very nurturing. Um, I'm always gonna be your number one fan. Like that's just how I feel. Um, I'm gonna make you laugh. I'm always trying to make somebody laugh. So, um, and then uh, just trying to figure out you, um, trying to figure out what you want, um, mm -hmm. try to how to make you happy is that's what I would bring to, to the relationship. Um, I would say I'm funny. Okay. I have great communication skills. I love conversation. Um, that's one of my biggest things. So if you can't have a conversation with me, I'm just like that's just big for me. You know, we I like to talk. <laughs> so um, I think you know, just being funny. Like I said, I'm spontaneous. Like I like to travel, um, try new things. I'm mm -hmm. optimistic, and I'm goal oriented. So I feel like as far as what I can bring to the relationship, helping both of us with our goals and just staying, you know, on task and building, you know, future stuff. So, yeah. Okay. okay time to pop another balloon. Pop, yes, uh, sir. <laughs> I mean, you y'all all gave great answers. Uh, right. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so I can't ask another one. Next round. You got to pop one. Next round. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to eat right here. Okay, why do we end up popping hers? Uh, it was more so on the like the first question I asked. Mm -hmm. I felt like she's like a little toxic. Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah, she said that she he he was abusive. She was abusive. So you know, I've been in relationships like that before, and I ain't trying to double back on that. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, that's part of growth and you know healing. So, that was like six, seven years ago, six, 2018. Seven, so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and I, I respect that, you know, but I'm not toxic. You know, it takes, it takes <laughs> no, toxic, you know, to, like no, I said. I understand that. And I, I get it, you know, because I kind of bounce back off of him as well. So, yeah. but no, I don't do toxic. I like my peace. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies, any questions for our guy here? Oh, you got one? Okay, sorry, let's go back. <laughs> do you have any children? I do. Okay, I'm going to have to pop. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm popping is because, um, for the husband that I want, I do want to experience that um, gotcha. together. And that's something that I want both of us to have. So Okay. okay. So, yeah, that's understandable. Okay. Now, is, is she someone that's your type? 
Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she's cool. Thank you. Okay, any questions over here? Yes, uh, a follow up to that. Uh, Got you. How many children and how old? Uh, I have two. Uh, my son is 10 and my daughter, she'll be eight in November. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God, you so a I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a problem for you, a deal breaker for you? No, um, the age would have been if they were younger. Younger, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, where do you see yourself in like five years? Five years? Uh, five years, I see myself owning my own trucking business mm -hmm. and uh, starting my own fleet. Uh, to be honest, like, I know we all heard about the creation of Adam and Eve. So I'm just looking for my missing rib. So if I find her, I could build a foundation from her, you know, get a house. And then once I get a house with her, protect, protect the house, provide for the house, you know, put my life on the line for her. So it's just like, I see myself being married with somebody and just being established. So that's like my, that's like my ultimate goal. Hey, that's, that's good. It's, it is achievable. So. It is achievable. You can do it. Let me have you come on up here. Come on up. Let's scoot that way. Let's scoot that okay. way. All right, guys. So I have a final question. If you guys are all good. You have a final question? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> you know, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take so this fun. mic and you guys can yeah. go on up. Let's give it up for them guys. Oh. <laughs> New record of season two. Thank you everyone for is tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or what? Find Love. Is the record five? Yeah, for season two. Okay, uh, okay. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, the submission form will be in the description box below. Make sure you go ahead and click on that link and go ahead and fill it out to be considered. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you all next time. Okay. Shout out to Arlette. They got five matches.